When the arresting officer hauled Justin Timberlake into custody in Sag Harbor, New York early on Tuesday, he had no idea who the A-lister was. Timberlake was arrested for driving while intoxicated. According to a source who spoke to Page Six on Tuesday, the policeman was so young that he didn't even know who Timberlake was or didn't recognize him or his name. During the arrest, the Grammy-winning musician, 43, made mention of his current The Forget Tomorrow World Tour, another insider told the site. This is going to ruin the tour, Justin muttered to himself, according to the insider. The policeman answered, what tour? It was Justin who said, the world tour. After allegedly running a stop sign and veering out of his lane in the upscale beachside summer hideaway, Timberlake was charged early on Tuesday with driving under the influence in a Hamptons village, New York. According to a court document seen by the AP, the boy band singer-turned-solo artist and actor was stopped by an officer in Sag Harbor at around 12.30 in the morning for driving a 2025 BMW and it was discovered that he was inebriated. According to the court documents, the defendant exhibited bloodshot and glassy eyes, a strong alcoholic beverage odor coming from his breath, difficulty dividing his focus, slower speech, unsteadiness when walking, and poor performance on all standardized field sobriety tests. According to the records, Timberlake informed the officer he was going home with some pals and that he had had one martini. According to court documents, he declined a breathalyzer test after being detained and brought to a police station in neighboring East Hampton. The papers also stated that he is self-employed and identified his occupation as professional. After being arraigned in Sag Harbor, Timberlake, who was briefly seen wearing handcuffs, was eventually released without posting bond on Tuesday morning. He was charged with a misdemeanor of driving while intoxicated, and the district attorney's office in Suffolk County announced that his next court hearing was set for July 26. When Timberlake was younger, he performed as a Disney Mouseketeer, sharing the stage with future wife Britney Spears, he is currently wed to Jessica Biel. He became well known as a member of the massive boy band Enesuensi, started a solo recording career in 2002, and was one of the most significant players in pop culture in the early 2000s. Sophisticated in pop and R&B, he is well known for Grammy-winning classics including Can't Stop the Feeling, What Goes Around, Comes Around, Cry Me a River, and Sexy Back. He's done several halftime presentations at the Super Bowl, including the notorious 2004 Wardrobe Malfunction performance in which he tore off a piece of Janet Jackson's garment to expose her nude nipple. Jackson was left out of the Grammy telecast a week later as a result of the incident. In a 2022 documentary, she stated that she and Timberlake remained close friends and that what had happened was an accident. In addition, Timberlake had a successful acting career, winning four Primetime Emmy Awards and receiving praise for his roles in Friends with Benefits and The Social Network. His nostalgic Everything I Thought It Was, his first new album in six years, was released in March, ushering in a return to his signature future funk sound. Man of the Woods, his 2018 record, was his previous release. Timberlake will play two performances this Friday and Saturday in Chicago before heading to Madison Square Garden in New York on June 25th and 26th. Nestled in the Hamptons, approximately 100 miles, 160 kilometers, east of New York City, lies Sag Harbor, a former whaling community featured in Herman Melville's beloved novel Moby Dick. The Hamptons have long been a popular destination for the wealthy and well-known, and many celebrities and other well-known figures have run afoul of the law there.